for the paedophile. Up until then, this must have been an amazing country to live in. Mm. You think now in horror of all those voiceless kids. And it has to be a combination of the fear, of the fact that no one would listen to them, and the fact that no one would believe them, even though people must have known at points that the kids were telling the truth. So in a sense, society was complicit in it. Yes, I think society was hugely complicit in it. And it, you know, you can, you can run right forward about Jimmy Savile, you can run right up to today, and people have still been complicit in it. I think that it would have been unacceptable then. And I think the notion that anyone, any decent person would have thought that was acceptable is absolutely impossible. We did not know. I think there was a real gulf between the people who knew and the people who didn't. And what is so awful is that the people who were perpetuating this were, sounds, you know, sounds ridiculous thing to say, you know, people who should know better, but actually, damn it, they should have known better. And they knew what they were doing. This is, this was criminal, evil, horrendous behavior that yes, was sanctioned among enough people that it was done in safety from prosecution, not even prosecution, knowledge. I mean, that's, that's what's extraordinary when you think of, say, the home in Wales, that this was being used by a lot of people, known about, um, prepared to send those little boys back crying, um, no thought for their consequences, a complete feeling of ownership, arrogance, um, total lack of morality. Um, I really hope and believe this could not happen now. You don't think human, you think human nature has well, changed? Well, it's not a question about, yes, well, not sure whether human nature has necessarily completely changed, but people would be damn sight more frightened they'd get found out. And the fact is now that every police force in the country will listen to a child now.